There's been a, a very sharp increase in the prevalence of food allergies in the last 15 to 20 years. It's happening all over the Western world. Nobody really knows why it's happening, although there are some theories about the way that people have been exposed to different foods. It seems to be paralleling the rise in obesity. And the thing that's different in recent years is the, is the rapid rise in allergies to peanut and tree nuts. The egg and milk allergies, which have been around for uh, decades, don't seem to have changed all that much. And most kids grow out of those allergies, whereas the nut allergies tend to be persistent uh, into adult life in at least four out of, out of five children. Nut allergies can be quite dangerous and starting in the early 2000s there was an increasing number of children being admitted to hospital with anaphylaxis which is a full-blown whole body allergic reaction. So throughout the 2000s um, uh, programs were put in place all over Australia in each state for educating teachers and other school staff in how to recognise anaphylaxis and how to treat it. At the same time, uh, children were being supplied with, uh, children at risk, being supplied with um, adrenaline syringes. These are auto-injectors with a fixed dose of adrenaline that can be administered by anybody, which is a life-saving treatment for somebody who's having anaphylaxis. Because the nut allergies are persistent, the number of kids now growing up with nut allergies and going out into the world when they finish school is increasing year by year. So in the next few years, we're likely to see uh, that epidemic of nut allergies that began 15 or 20 years ago moving into the adult population. And we can expect to see people experiencing serious reactions out in the community. So the challenge for us now is to educate people who work in restaurants, takeaway food, food places, hotels, workplaces, in recognising and managing uh, serious allergic reactions.